Hey everyone, while the UK awaits the election results and the prime ministerial ballot, the Democrat Party in America is also in the process of choosing its new leader, and the US as always is very keen to show that they do things differently, just as they spell things differently and use different plug sockets and turn up the world wars towards the end of them rather than at the start. This week saw a bombastic 4th of July celebration in Washington DC with stealth bombers, fighter jets, fireworks and a series of awe-inspiring stories of military daring do read out by the President. And the speech was carefully straddling the legal definition of non-partisan, in much the same way that a book in horoscopes calls itself non-fiction. Most people know what's going on. Nonetheless, those wishing to face the President next year have to compete with one another to oppose everything he says, good or bad. So most went out of their way to vilify him for paying tribute to military veterans before going on television to express how they're the one best able to oppose American values. And for a party that apparently hates the 1%, they're certainly coming up with a lot of policies that probably only appeal to about 1% of the population. It makes them look like the sort of fool who'd visit a casino's roulette table and bet everything in blue before accusing their owners of being white supremacists when they talk about the colours. Anyway, a British equivalent, I suppose, would be if Jeremy Corbyn had only become vegan in order to distance himself from bacon sandwich-eating Ed Miliband, but then gone further and run on a platform of making non-veganism a criminal offence, oblivious to the fact that even the hardline Saudi police only execute people if they're buying pork. Recently, there was a debate where most of the candidates raised their hand when asked whether illegal immigrants should get access to free health care. Many want to abolish the Mexican border entirely. There are those from cities who want to ban cars in rural areas, folks in the sunny deep south on the left nonetheless who think that because they're from Florida, it's a great idea to ban central heating systems in Michigan. And Nike were recently forced to remove a shoe from sale because it featured the original US flag on the grounds of racism, apparently, despite Betsy Ross, the flag's designer, being one of the founding members of the abolitionist movement. You know, it's a profoundly odd thing to see a party go so out of its way to alienate the public and choose a more unelectable leader. I mean, at least Theresa May went to the effort of lying about being a centrist. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.